So the establishment got the fright of their lives this evening um, when we appeared um, at uh, a count station in South Dublin um, shortly, well I suppose it was about half an hour or an hour after the vote had closed at 10 o'clock and um, a white van pulled in totally unmarked um, and pulled up on the lawn at uh, the local school where the vote had taken place and was followed um, by a an unmarked guard the car and two plain clothes officers and um, the boxes were being shuffled into the back of the van the voting boxes which i notice are now plastic and uh, they used to be heavy steel boxes i think the idea being that uh, they, it required two people to lift them. And uh, the idea being there that there were two people that didn't know each other as well, so that um, there was just more transparency. But like we are in a third world country, this is a third world country now. Um, and, you know, they're so obvious about, they don't, it's all hidden in plain sight. It's not even hidden anymore. Um, the fact that you know they're using these plastic boxes um, which do not appear to be secure. Um, but I approached um, the people involved in this tonight and um, to say that I was abused would be like, you know, as soon as you ask any questions at all, I want to know the name of the company that was transporting the vote down to Simmons Court and uh, an individual who will remain unnamed started you know abusing me i was perfectly within my rights to ask this question but of course when you ask basic questions and you don't get answers you know there's something there's something not right and this has been the story of my career in investigating and exposing corruption in this state